All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a airbag, a blown steering wheel airbag on a Ford or a Lincoln. Um, first thing is first, you got to have yourself a, uh, a screwdriver. If you don't have the proper tool, I think they make a tool for these. But I'm using a Craftsman 1 8 flathead. So you could use just any flathead as long as it's small enough that you could fit it in that hole right there. There's a hole right there, all right? Now there's one on this side of the steering wheel, and then there's one on this side underneath. So I already removed it so I can show you exactly how it's held in place. So this is a blown airbag, obviously. And this is the two points that hold the airbag attached to your steering wheel. This point right here, and this point right here, all right? And um, this one also, you have one. Whenever these airbags blow, you have a 50 50 chance that the connectors, the wire connectors, are, are just melted onto the airbag, so they're obviously not usable. Normally, when this happens, you're supposed to um, uh, change the clock spring. You got to remove the steering wheel, you got to buy the clock spring and uh, replace it. But I'm going to show you a tip, just like a little trick that you can do to um so you know avoid buying the clock spring and avoid uh um you know doing all the labor um just by swapping out the plugs just the, the uh, plastic plugs themselves so here's a blown one i'm gonna set that off to the side now remember this hole i showed you all right you're gonna have to put a flat screwdriver and just use a flat one you don't want to use nothing else because it's just going you're just gonna make it more difficult so whenever you put the screwdriver in that hole see how it's sticking out there you go now you kind of gotta go by you know the, you gotta feel when the screwdriver goes in there kind of where it's touching you also gotta listen for the noise because obviously when metal touches metal it makes that sharp pinging noise like this okay so this is the screwdriver now whenever you want to remove the airbag you don't want the screwdriver like this flat so uh, you can if you want mark it put like a marker like a mark see like hold a screwdriver like this on us on its angle and just kind of put a mark over here with the, like a black mark or something just so you kind of know where it's at because when the airbag's in place you, you don't know whether this thing is sitting uh like this or like this all right so let me just put it back in here all right so here's a screwdriver okay you want to turn it like this so I have it on an angle and then just kind of feel until you hear this the metal clicking when you feel that you basically what you're trying to do is push this over on both sides you got one here you go on there because those two points I showed you on the back of the airbag, that's where they lock in place. Right here and right here. And this uh, retainer um, thing is what holds it in place. Okay. So now, basically just tap it so you can feel it. Make sure you're hitting the, you're not hitting nothing soft or nothing uh, uh, plastic. And then just kind of hold pressure on it. Just go behind this metal thing. Just keep on, you know, just hold it, hold it tight. Just guys kind of play with it. And then you can hear another click. See, that's your spring. So when you push, boom, it releases. So once you push this, it's going to pop out on this side. Um, so you're not going, you don't have to use two screwdrivers. Once you pop this out, it, the, the airbag is going to pop up a bit. And you do the same thing on this side. And then your airbag is out. Now, as far as the tip for, like the tip pointer for for see i re already replaced i did not replace the clock spring i replaced the um uh what do you call it the uh, just the connectors the plastic connectors that melt down to the airbag and, and um a lot of people might cut the wire itself and uh solder on you uh, the connector I, I don't do that kind of stuff um I, I i from what i heard it's it's not good it could come loose and you you don't want your airbag blowing up on you when you're driving on the road so best thing to do is uh just to replace either the clock spring or the connector like i'm gonna do all right so once you do remove the airbag the blown airbag this is what you're gonna see in the back only you're gonna have two connectors they're both gonna have wires 
sticking up out of this end right here. All right. So what you want to save is the wires. You don't want to damage the wires or the pins. So just slowly, just, you know, don't, don't yank on the airbag once you get it out because you don't want to damage the wires. Just take a flathead screwdriver, stick it up underneath the connector and just pry it up. Pry it up till it breaks. It's just going to break off. See, like mine did. It just broke off. And then, once you break it off, you're going to have three tabs on it. You're going to have two on the side and then one right here in the front. Uh, so just take your flathead screwdriver again and just pry up on these tabs right here on both ends. Okay. And once you, once you, you, uh, you do that, you know, this top plastic part, one of them, is, uh, they're both yellow actually. Um, here's, here, here's the other one. Let me grab the other one really quick. See, this is the black connector and this is the gray connector, but they both have yellow tops. Just pop the yellow top off. And once you do that, you're going to see the wires just rest in here. Just take the wires out. Once you take the wires out, if you go to a junkyard and buy the airbag from there, um, the dealer is going to be a lot more expensive, right? So if you buy your um, your connectors from a junkyard, um, usually they will, they're, they're not going to remove this from, from the uh, um, airbag. They're just going to cut the wire and just give you these connectors. So that's that's a good thing because, again, I'm going to show you the three tabs. So you got one, two, and the other side, three. So once you take those off, you know, just make sure, another tip, just make sure that you notate which wire goes where. See, there's, a, for example, on this one. So if you just kind of note keep a direction in mind so if you're you know if you're staring at the connector this way hey the left one is going to be blue the right one is going to be white you know so but if you hold it down I mean, obviously it's the other way around so just make sure you do put the, the wires in the right order both of them and then you have yourself two good connectors and here's the new um let me set this camera back on one pod here's the new airbag well this is from a junkyard so it's a used airbag, came with the wire connectors. And re replacing the airbag is really simple. They only go in one way. See, it has this tab right here at the bottom thing right here where my thumb is at. And if you look in the channel, it will go right over there. So you cannot, you cannot reverse them. It can only go in one way. So just hold it like that. Push the connector until you hear a click. Click. Do the same thing with the uh, other one. Click. Kind of just tug them a bit; they don't come out. And just center the uh, those airbag pin, those pointers where I showed you. Just center over the hole. All right. And then just push down. Click in place. That's it. They're not coming out. So there you go. And that's how you uh, replace an airbag on a steering wheel on a Ford or a Lincoln. I'm sure there are other cars that have this setup. Some of them will have a screw. I mean, that's the easiest easiest way. If, you, if yours has a screw, then you just remove the screw. But if you don't, if you have just a, a little pinhole like that, that's what you want to use. A flathead screwdriver. Do the process I showed you, and just it just pushes right in, and it's not going to come back out. So if this helped you, go ahead and uh, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.